morning. This is Ben Moore. I'm president of the US GBC Board of Directors this year, and I'm in New Orleans for the Greenville 2014 conference. In fact, I'm walking there right now. It'll be the first time I've arrived. As you can see, there's some New Orleans scenes. Street scenes, that is. I wanted to do a little compare and contrast between New Orleans and Jacksonville, just my early impressions. Flying in last night, I noticed that there was a compressed natural gas station at the airport. So just like Jacksonville, New Orleans is taking advantage of this alternative fuel that can reduce carbon emissions for certain heavy vehicle applications. Of course, New Orleans is uh, famous for uh, being a kind of mixture of cultures at the end of the Mississippi River. It's also famous for uh, Hurricane Katrina, which devastated the city a couple years ago and illustrated the risks that we are at from issues like sea level rise and increased hurricane activity that may come to us as a result of climate change. And of course, Jacksonville itself is at risk from sea level rise and uh, increased storm activity and people in Jacksonville, former board member Margo Mooring and Al Tilly, a longtime volunteer of USGBC, are doing great work on this topic back in Jacksonville. How to get around this town? I'm walking today because uh, that's the best way to get to the conference, but there are other aspects, areas of the city that you can easily access via streetcar. Now, Jacksonville's talked a bit about having a streetcar and uh, also bus rapid transit, so Jacksonville is definitely stepping into a new sort of era with, with respect to transit, or you could say that they were visiting an old era because New Orleans, indeed, just like Jacksonville, has had a streetcar deep in its past. New Orleans retained it and Jacksonville hasn't, so we'll be interested to see if Jacksonville comes back with a streetcar. Finally, I'm headed to the convention center, as I said this morning, and it's quite a walk, actually, to get there from my hotel, and it's a walk that is not through the greatest urban fabric. Uh, the, the convention center is on the Mississippi River, and between it and the uh, French Quarter, which many of you may be familiar with, is a, a warehouse district and a commercial district. That's not too dissimilar from Jackson's Convention Center, which is separated from the main downtown. The folks are talking about moving our convention center to a more active spot. And uh, New Orleans seems to be in a similar situation, although I should note that the warehouse district that lies between the convention center and the, front, and the French Quarter has sort of been rebranded and redeveloped as a arts district, which is something, again, folks in Jacksonville have been talking about doing and maybe a way to activate some of the parts of downtown that have not been as vibrant as they could be. So with that, I'm going to show you my kind of uh, final approach to the com com uh, convention center and green build, and there'll be more to come as the week goes on. Here you go.